Hi, it's Jerry with I Love RV Life. I've been looking forward to testing the new Bouge RV 200 watt panels. These are referred to as N types. This is their 16B bifacial panel. It's got a ton of new features. Really impressed with this. So much so, I'm getting ready to buy three more for myself and put all four on top of the Montana. Let's look at the specs of this. Hi, it's Jerry. We're outside today. We're going to be testing a 200 watt solar panel. This is by Bouge RV. A little backstory here before I get into why we're doing this is we're planning on adding 800 watts of solar to our Montana so we can boondock a little bit more than what we have been doing. I'm looking forward to being able to do that and getting some more power into those big lithium batteries. And a Bouge RV contacted us about this. I'll go ahead and tell you, I'm so impressed with this panel. I'm getting ready to order personally and buy three more on my own. They did provide this to us for our evaluation. So we're gonna go with four of these panels, uh, two in a series setup and the two series in parallel to be able to feed our needs. A lot of reasons behind that, but let's talk about the panel. This is what they refer to as an N-type panel. Now you can get these panels in two configuration, what they call a standard, or they have a high power. So it's a 12 volt and a 24 volt. I'll give you a little bit more information about that in just a minute. But here's the big issue about this. Not only is it bifacial, meaning Sun coming into the front, you get power. Sun coming into the back, you get power. Now, if you're in, I'm not gonna be setting up my setup like this. I'm gonna have it permanently flat mounted. But if you mount these on a tilt, and as the sun goes across, you'll get sun front and back. So that maybe not quite doubles your production for the day, but it substantially increases your production over using a non-bifacial panel. So it's very, very important. Also about this end type that's different than other types of solar panels is it has 16 bus bars. Now, if you look at a close up here, you can almost see the individual panels and bus bars in this configuration. Now, what this does, it's able to collect across all these individual panels and bus bars and then conduct the electricity through the solar panel. Now, what that means is you get higher efficiency, uh, you get better performance, and you have less power loss because inevitably when we mount these on top of our RVs, they're gonna be close to an air conditioner or something like that. Some part during the day, you may get some shadowing on a corner or somewhere down around the middle. What this will allow this panel to do is even though you get some partial sh shading on it, the, the rest of the panel still performs with many of your solar panels that are not in types that does not happen. We'll test that. We'll see how that actually works. Again, I mentioned this is both bifacial. It's very, very important. Now you can order this panel in two configurations. This is the standard. I'm going with the 12 volt standard panel and uh, that gives you an open circuit voltage of 28 volts. So you think about that as you're looking at your solar uh, controller charger that you'll be using, but you can also get these in the a 24 volt version that it, they refer to as the high voltage version. And that has 36 volts of open circuit voltage. So you can get a substantial more voltage going. Why do you want more voltage? I know this is gonna seem crazy, but the more voltage, the less amperage, you multiply volts times amps and you get your watts. So you don't lose your wattage, but you can use smaller wires. That's one of the reasons I'm going with a, both a series and parallel configuration so that I can stand, stay with a 10 AWG wiring from the top of my roof down to my controller. The sizes on these are impressive as well. Now, again, I'll kind of back up so you can see this. This is 50 inches tall. It is 30 inches wide. You know, it's a, it's a relatively small panel for 200 watts compared to other 200 watt, not in type uh, panels. So these are highly, highly, highly efficient panels. And um, I'm really looking forward to seeing how these are gonna work. One other thing that I wanna mention, these have a 30 year power warranty. So again, long-term life, if you are wanting to use this in an off-grid solution at your cabin or at your home, long life with these panels. And again, you can really maximize the tilting of these panels so that you can get the maximum amount of power. So let's go back and forth. Let's do some testing. What I'm gonna be connecting this to is a Victron uh, controller. 
uh, and uh, I'll be showing you what the performance of this is on my phone app for doing that. So uh, we'll put this through some tests. Let's go ahead and tilt this, maximize it in front of the sun. Uh, I'll show you how I do that and then uh, we'll get going. So I can take advantage of the maximum amount of sun exposure to these panels. Uh, what I do is what they call the paint can trick. You may have seen this, uh, but I put the paint can down and then you don't want a long shadow coming off the front of it. So if it was higher, you can actually see if I raise it up, it may, it may come up on the camera. Um, you can see that big shadow coming off of it. And uh, if you, that's, that's a good trick if you're looking for an angle, especially if you've got something like off-grid or if you're looking at uh, setting this up um, in a, um, a home or again a cabin, something like this. Uh, as the season changes in the winter, you might want to have this angle. This is, you know, the late part of winter here coming into spring. And uh, in the summer, uh, it would be, you know, tilted a little bit different as well. Okay, let's get some testing done. Okay, we're looking good. A little bit of a shadow here from the camera on the solar panel multimeter, 187 watts. That's great out of a 200 watt panel. And it's getting a little warm out here in this hot sun, so you'll see a teeny bit of loss. Uh, voltage a little over 24 volts. Uh, amps at almost 8, 7.8. And then a VOC at 27, 26.85. We'll call that 27 volts. Uh, we're right on spec. Okay, let's get this thing hooked up to the uh, Victron controller and uh, see how it behaves then. And then we'll uh, do some blocking of the panel uh, to see what uh, these 16 bus bars, uh, how they actually perform. Here's a little setup that I've got here in the shop. Here's my uh, Victron controller. This is a MPPT Smart Solar 7515. Great little controller. Perfect for, um, I don't know, 400 watts or so, somewhere thereabout. Um, and then I just, I have to have a battery source for this to work, so I'm just using a time USB. This is a, their 20, 230 amp hour battery. And it's, well, we'll look at it and see what the charge is on it. I've run it down just a little bit for the testing. A little basic test, uh, but we're going to use the phone and uh, use it and see what the amperage and wattage and all those things are on it. So let's get started. All right, here we are. This is a full panel right now. This is the 200 watt panel. Sun hasn't changed, but what you're seeing is the evils of cables. So, you know, by the time you use connectors, I've got a very, very long length of cable on this, and I did that for a reason. I've got 30 feet of uh, 10WAG on here because that's what most of us would be using if we go from the solar panel from our roof all the way down to our controller uh, in, in a Let's say in a large fifth wheel or a Class A motorhome, something like that, or maybe even a Class C, uh, you're going to have a good bit of cable. Yeah, I know if you've got a bus, it may be different. If you've got a van, you definitely, ha definitely have a shorter run, probably 10 feet or less. But uh, we're going to use 30 for this test, and you see that you are going to have some loss. But here's the good news. 161 watts, voltage is almost 19 volts, very good. Rocking and rolling with current 8.6 amps. So we're doing a great job here. Um, and you can see the battery. The battery's taking a charge right now. We're hitting it with 14.36 volts and 10.9 uh, amps coming out of the battery into this 200 watt battery. So we're, uh, we're pumping it in there. Gonna make sure, and you can see it's in a bulk state right now. All right, so uh, 161 watts. Let's see what happens when we put a little bit of shadow on this. So now you're really seeing how these bus bars work, and this is pretty impressive. Yeah, we've lost roughly about half the capacity of the panel, but we didn't lose it all. Typically in a non-end type, uh, you'll lose all your capacity out of your panel. Uh, they'll quit functioning altogether. But here, let's just say, you know, it's the afternoon sun, your air conditioner hit the bottom part of the panel, as you see here, and we're still cooking at 90 watts. So that's pretty impressive. Let's catch just a corner. Now this is a little bit more typical of what you may see, just catching a small corner. Uh, we'll kind of move it across and just take maybe just about a, about a quarter of it. But this is that lower portion. We're still getting 100 watts out of this 200 watt panel. Pretty impressive. Now again, a lot of the shadowing is very, very minimal. Hopefully you've set up your camper, your RV, or the, whatever your home environment is. The trees aren't bothering you too bad. And you might catch just a little small corner. Now in some of your panels, your very, very inexpensive panels, you get a little bit of shadowing on there. These things will drop to just a handful of watts to no watts. Let's catch a small corner here and see what happens, see if it makes a difference. 
So not much. Uh, you can kind of see how the bus bar works. We're catching just that small bottom corner. It did improve just a few watts, but not that much. Again, here I'll move it up. You know, we'll do something like that. And it, it doesn't do much. A small corner, really when you're losing that bottom quadrant, uh, that's where you're taking the big hit. So still, we're still getting 100 watts out of the panel. That's still pretty impressive. Uh, let's move this cardboard in a different configuration and see what happens. Still impressive. I have taken out that whole bottom quadrant. So what you're actually seeing here in this bus bar configuration is if that bottom fourth, or we'll just call it in this instance that bottom fourth, if it gets um, covered in anything, you still have three-fourths of the panel that's capable of producing power, still able to produce almost 100 watts. So, uh, wow, I just I had no idea that these N-series, these N-type panels had this kind of a capability. That is very, very substantial. Uh, light clouds, a little bit of trees in the way, air conditioner, uh, your antenna on top of your roof, any of those things can impact uh, your production for solar any time of the day, depending on where the sun location is, especially if you can't tilt the panel up, as we won't be able to do. Uh, they'll be flat, so you know we're going to have to face this from time to time. Pretty impressive. Let's remove this cardboard and just see what the overall production value is of this. All right, almost back to where we started. Again, I've got a lot of cable loss here, and um, 165, pretty impressive. Here we are at the end of winter, not quite there yet, and it's great to be in middle Georgia and have some more weather for a chance. Uh, I'm not a cold weather guy <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination. So that's pretty trick for me and great for being able to test these new Bouge RV N-type solar panels out. So I'm really impressed with the performance. Again, I've got this one here that Bouge RV provided for us and we're getting ready to buy three more. And uh, later on, uh, probably early part of the summer, uh, I'll be showing you that project where I'm kind of redoing a lot of my electrical. Um, we've got big lithium batteries now. Uh, our Montana did not come with that. They came with lead acid. I've already upgraded the Victron controller. We've got a much larger Victron controller now. And uh, we're going to have to replace all the wiring <laughs> that comes from the roof down. We've got some little skinny, you're not going to believe this, 14-gauge wire running uh, a 230-watt panel. Ugh. Just, I could go on for hours on what I don't like, and I'll save that for another video. But we're going to be doing a big upgrade, and we'll be using uh, eight 100 uh, watts, four panels. And uh, these things are awesome. I really love the performance in these. I think we're going to get a lot of benefit out of them. Look, if you're interested in getting these N-Type Series Bouge RV panels, I'm going to provide you with a link. I'd appreciate you using that link. It is an affiliate link for us. And it helps out the channel a little bit, helps us buy cameras and those types of things. We'd appreciate it a whole lot, uh, but you don't have to. Um, and if you've got other types of devices with Bouge RV, we tested. I'll put a, a link in the description and on the ilovervlife.com page where I'll do a full write-up with the specs and so forth where you can get more information about these panels if you're interested in having that physical um, look at the printed text on that. We'll have that as well. But we've also tested uh, last year uh, their 200 watt pure sine wave inverter. That's going to be going on an installation here in the near future. And our daughter's camper is uh, going to be a nice little configuration there. Um, a lot of nice products and they've been great to work with. So again, they've got these in type panels. Now, uh, they do have some specials on uh, that you can get these at a little bit of a reduced rate. I'll not publish that right now, but uh, they're a little over $200 right now. And um, these things change from time to time, depending on what the sales and those types of things are. But uh, the sooner you can go, the better, because uh, the buying season's coming up where everybody's upgrading their campers for the summer. Great panel. So uh, you'll have links for that. Well, I th appreciate you watching. And uh, as always, I do all this stuff for one reason. It's to help you guys because I love RV life. See you soon. Mm -hmm.